Hello there, this is one of a series of videos accompanying the Gymlet tutorial developing an MVC component. And in this step, we're going to be uh, using the database, and we're actually going to be start, start to be using the database for our own component, which is going to be useful if you are going to be developing a component, because if you're doing that, you'll be wanting to add things to the Joomla um, site, for example, products or films or cars or something like that, and you will be wanting to store these sorts of things in the database. Now, there's actually a fair bit in this step. So we've got an aspect which is the, the database set up there, which is actually getting the table created and populated. Then we've got two ways of accessing the database da data. Uh, J table and J database. Uh, we're going to be developing a custom field type in the admin functionality and outputting some HTML. So what I'm going to do is split this video into three videos uh, and cover uh, the following three aspects in the three videos. The first one we're just going to be looking up set looking looking at setting up the database. In the second one, we'll look at the site aspect of uh, displaying the appropriate message on a web page. And in the third one, we're going to be looking at admin functionality to allow the administrator to add the choice of message on a particular web page via the menu item. So let's get started. If we go down here, uh, we will see this is the code that we want to copy. So we'll bring that in and save that to better check the name admin SQL install mysql utf eight dot sql admin sql install dot utf eight dot sql Let's just check that's right. Install MySQL UTF 8.sql. Okay, and we'll just change goodbye, which is what we have already, to uh, remove the space in the middle. And then it says, it says that we need this also for the update file. So we'll just copy that and put that into a new file and save that and we'll update mysql 006 06 because obviously if someone is installing your component it could be that they're installing this version 6 as the first version or it could be that they already have version 5 installed and they're updating to version 6. So if they're installing from scratch, they will run the install file. If they're updating, they'll run this update file. And then you have to also remember that um, people can skip versions. So they may be going from version 5 to version 10. And you may have made a number of different changes to your database in those um, various versions. So what Joomla will have to do is uh, apply the various updates from the individual versions. So that's why we're going to need to have update versions um, or update SQL files for each of the versions. So the other thing we need is a uninstall script. So we'll grab that and create a new file and see where to put it goes in admin SQL uninstall. Admin SQL just that uninstall. And then finally we need to update the manifest file. We need to put this section in which tells Joomla that um, whenever we're installing this extension, we need to apply these um, SQL 
files. So, whoops. We'll copy that. And we'll go for and find our manifest file. Uh, which is this. And we'll shove that in there. Okay. Uh, funny enough, for me starting these uh, videos, um, Firefox seems to have been fixed as regards copying text, which is in highlighted. So that seems to be working okay. I'm just wondering, I think I copied update twice, so I'll just remove that. And check that everything is saved. We'll go along and we'll create the zip folder. And we'll go and install this. Okay, so we'll check if it's gone actually into the database. We'll go to our PHP admin. This is our Joomla database. There's no hello world here at the moment. And we'll do a refresh. And hopefully it should appear. There we are. And it's got the two records in it as well. And it also mentions in the description there, it mentions about the schemas table. <clears throat> so just have a quick look at that. If we go to our schemas table, see there 1008 extension 1008 as version ID 006. So if we go to our extensions table, and I think this will be a way down the bottom. 1008 is our hello world component. So this is how Joomla keeps track of the version numbers of each of the extensions. Okay, that's it for this video. We've got the database um, ready to use. And then in the next video, we'll be looking at um, getting the data and displaying it on the web page. Thanks for listening.